Hello everyone, welcome back to my Kim Corner. So in today's video, we're going to do question number 11.7 from chapter Alcohols, Phenols and Ether. So in this question, it says, give the structures of IOPAC names of monohydric phenol of molecular formula C7H8O. So there are two things here. One is the molecular formula is given to us. Second, it's, it says monohydric alcohol, which means I can have only one OH group on the phenol. All right. So here, when they are saying this particular thing, one thing that we need to identify is the molecular formula here have, contains seven carbons. And in phenol, we have only six carbons on the benzene ring, which means one more carbon is a substituent. All right. So here, when I try to draw the structure, I have one phenol here. This is a phenolic structure. So I have all six carbons that one extra carbon goes as a substituent. All right. Now it says that you need to give the structure and the IUPAC name of these monohydric alcohol. So there are possible chances where you can put this methyl group at other positions in the uh, phenolic structure. So this one here, when we look at a phenol, one thing that you need to understand is the carbons right after it is called an orthophenol. Right next to ortho, you have metaposition. And the one below here has is called as paraposition. So we can put these CH3s at three different positions in the benzene ring. So in the first case, I've put in terms of ortho position. Second case, I'm putting it in, in the parapos in the meta position. And in the third case, I'm putting it in the para position. All right. So I have so many structures here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to name them now. I need to give the IUPAC naming. Now, remember one thing when you have a compound like this, phenol is going to be the parent hydrocarbon. So in all three, it is going to be phenol. All right. So phenol is the parent hydrocarbon. Now, when we are trying to number the um, ring the carbons in the ring here you are going to follow the same rule that you have done for an alkyl chain also you have to number in such a way that any other substituent on the benzene ring will get the least count so you can count them clockwise direction 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so I counted clockwise direction and the methyl group got position number 2 whereas if I count anti-clockwise direction the methyl group will get position number 6 so, I will go clockwise only. So, here methyl group is present on which position? It is present on position number 2. So, I am going to put 2 methyl phenol. Alright, in the next one, it is going to be at position number 3 here. So, I am going to write this as 3 methyl phenol. And in the last one, it is written as 4 methyl phenol because the methyl group is on position number 4. Alright, now if you are looking with respect to positions on the benzene ring, this can be orthomethylphenol. This is a meta position and this is a para position. So this way you can name them provided you know how to write the formula correctly. 